Relax. You know, fella, got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. And we're live. Welcome back to part 32 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. However, this is not your usual Marston Mondays, John. This John is locked in Epilogue 1. I'm your friendly neighbor at Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. I had to reload a Chapter 2 mission to recreate my first video on the channel, and once I had finished that replay, the game dropped me back into Epilogue 1 with a fresh John. I saw a horse and decided to go get him, just for fun, with absolutely no intention of making another video. This horse, in fact, and regrettably, we do not have the footage. <laughs> However, we were near Hanging Dog Ranch, and I thought we might as well check it out, just to be neighborly. And John has no weapons and minimal supplies. He has a scrounged, worn double action in 50 rounds. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. And Hanging Dog Ranch is currently abandoned. I have the vague memory of raiding this location with Rachel in an old video. Perhaps there is some cash upstairs. No joy. However, an idea for a video, a seed, if you will, is beginning to emerge. Why not take this American paint into New Austin all the way to Solomon's Folly? John knows there's cash over there. Abigail won't mind. Let's not tell her, but I'm sure she won't mind. We will have to raid bandits on the way for supplies and weapons. One rolling block better than nothing. I believe we are outside of Blackwater here. And one of those jokers had a black American standard bread, so it was time for an upgrade. We said goodbye to the American paint and moved on. Easy. Easy now. Easy there. You're okay. You're okay. Easy, girl. Mm, it's all right. 
Yeah, I know. Get, boy! And a warm Del Lobo's welcome on the way to Armadillo. Very convenient as we need better weapons. That rolling block is useless close range. All we have is the double action. This is gonna hurt a bit. However, we pick up some ammo and a lich field. Now we are talking. John is okay on cash thanks to the Bank of Aberdeen. Arthur left him some money at the pig farm. I am starting to remember what I did with this John. Who's a good horse? Good girl. Easy. I'm friendly. How are you, my friend? And on to Armadillo, where the plague pits burn so pleasantly in the morning. Looks like the sheriff needs some help, and that's convenient as we need supplies. If it wasn't for you, whoo, how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise. But the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Sad you won't stick around. And the Sheriff abandons his post. We'll check out his office in a minute. First, let's switch out this cattleman for this volcanic. I do prefer the volcanic. I feel it has better range and accuracy. Carbine repeater pass.
And some bitters and premium cigarettes in the desk. Not very helpful. Let's move on. And then John saw the most horrible bird he has ever seen, and he was a little frightened. No bird should be that big or fly that slowly. And at that very moment, John decided that he hated condors. Let's move on. We better save these good citizens of New Austin. Collect some supplies. There's nothing of note on that train, and John is on a mission. Moving on. Good girl. We made it to Solomon's Folly. Let's try out the rolling block. We should be okay on health items. Switching to the Lancaster and moving up. Where did he come from? Well, that was embarrassing. Don't tell Abigail. We respawn with the Missouri Foxtrotter, who I do not remember purchasing, but we have one. And that American Standard Bread is just where we left him.
Let's try that again, shall we? This time we shall keep our distance and make them come to us. Consulting the map, we can check enemy position and see who is left. 3 to 1. John likes those odds. Now we can move up. And it looks like they are respawning, however, only from one direction, so John should be okay. That is how John raids Solomon's Folly with borrowed weapons and scrounged supplies. Don't tell Abigail. Let's check out the basement. Plenty of cash down here.
And don't forget the chimney for a large jewelry bag and a free gold nugget. Also your map, Solomon's Folly southwest of Benedict Point, and what a folly it was. Let's go, boy. We're off. Skip, go on. Go on, girl. Relax. This Del Lobo's Morgan won't stop freaking out, and we have a level one Black American standard bread we have to deal with. I don't feel good about letting a level 1 horse go, so we'll take him back to Blackwater and sell him. I am certain the stable owner can find him a good home. Fast travel from camp, so convenient. There are some new players watching right now who have always had this option, and you have no idea how lucky you are. However, we are back home safe. Sir! Fine looking animal you got there, my friend. Ride the stage. I'll give you a good ride. And say goodbye to the Black American Standard Bread. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. <laughs> Looks like the only saddle John has currently is the Panther. Arthur used to love that saddle until he figured out how to harvest snakes. You're gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. I miss that nag. Real good one. There, girl. Come on. We shall swap out for Rachel and then set up camp and return to Pronghorn Ranch. <laughs> I don't know how John will explain this to Abigail. Good morning. 
However, before we go, John will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. And finally, filming some B-roll for this video, a cougar decided she wanted to say hello to John. No worries, that cougar is only sleeping. <laughs> this video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members-only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. The regular Marston Mondays John will return next week. This John has to get back to Pronghorn Ranch. Mrs. Geddes just noticed the new ranch hand. This might get a little awkward. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 33. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good neither.